Julia Child was the first woman to host a cooking show on television. Today's world is exposed to a steady stream of TV food celebrities, and Julia Child was one of the early pioneers. She was such an outstanding chef that the Smithsonian Institution permitted her to relocate her original kitchen to an American history exhibit. She taught me how to prepare French food easily. She also provided tips and lessons on cooking. She was a chef, author, and television personality. Julia Child made French cuisine accessible to American audiences. Through her cookery show, the complex recipes are taught to the audience with enthusiasm and touch conversation through fun. She was passionate, fearless, and always ready to teach. All these qualities made her the cooking queen inside and outside the kitchen. This video tells the story of the queen of home cooking, Julia Child. Julia Child was born in Pasadena, California on August 15, 1912. She grew up in wealth and belonged to a privileged family. Her father, John McWilliams, was a land manager. Her mother, Julia Caroline, hailed from the owners of the Western Paper Company in Massachusetts. Julia Child had a brother, John McWilliams III, and a sister, Dorothy Cousins. From fourth grade to ninth grade, she attended Polytechnic School in Pasadena. It was a custom in the Weston family to send the children to boarding school. Accordingly, the child was sent to the Catherine Branson School for Girls in California for high school. She attended classes in Latin, French, history, and mathematics. She also got engaged in sports like tennis, swimming, and basketball. She was 6 feet and 2 inches and naturally was the basketball team's captain. She was also the president of a hiking team, Vagabonds. She graduated from Smith's College. She wanted to become a novelist or a magazine writer. She went back to California after graduation in 1934. But in 1935, she returned to Massachusetts to take a secretarial course. In between, she got a job at S.J. Sloan, a home furnishing company in New York, and left her class. She continued there until 1939, till she was terminated from there. She started volunteering with a Pasadena chapter of the American Red Cross in 1941. In 1942, she joined the Office of Strategic Services. She wanted to join the military, but was rejected because of her height. Later, she started her job as a typist in OSS, and she was given the position of top secret researcher for the head of the OSS, General William J. Donovan. She worked for a year at the OSS Emergency Sea Rescue Equipment Section in Washington, D.C. Julia Child helped her team to find a shark repellent while Child was in the Emergency Sea Rescue Equipment Section. The sharks had attacked several U.S. Naval officers since the war broke out. The OSS was trying to find a shark repellent and brought a scientist specializing in zoology and an anthropologist to devise a fix. The child also assisted in this mission. The child was asked to find something to keep sharks away from underwater explosives. The child was asked to experiment with cooking various concoctions such as shark repellent. It was done and sprinkled near the explosives and that repelled sharks. This experiment was the stepping stone for Julia Child to cooking. The child was posted to Candy in Ceylon, and later she was assigned to Kunming, China. There, she received the emblem of Meritorious Civilian Service as head of the registry of the OSS Secretariat. While in Ceylon, she met Paul Cushing Child, an OSS employee. They married in 1946, and they later moved to Washington, D.C. In 1948, they moved to Paris as Paul joined the United States Foreign Service. She graduated from the School of Cooking, the Cordon Bleu. Then she studied privately with Max Bugnard and other master chefs. She met Simone Beck and her friend Louisette Berthal at the cooking club Le Circle de Gourmets. Beck was writing a French cookbook for Americans and asked Child to work with them and make the book appealing to Americans. So Child, Beck, and Berthal began to teach cooking in Child's Paris kitchen to American women. They named their school Le Col de Trois Gourmandes, the School of Three Food Lovers. The trio researched and tested many recipes, and Julia Child translated them into English and detailed it interestingly and practically. Paul retired in 1961, and they settled in a large house with a well-equipped kitchen in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Her book, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, was published in the same year. The book gave clear instructions and explanations with many photographs. It was a great success, and since then, she has started to write articles and cooking for magazines and newspapers. She started a weekly half-an-hour cooking program on television, The French Chef. This program was more successful than her book. Her unique style, knowledge, and humor made her teaching popular. 1989 Child's husband suffered a stroke and was moved to a nursing home. She coped with her loneliness by exercising, 
writing, public speaking, and working on television programs. She even provided a cartoon voice for a children's video. In 1994, Paul Child died. Although saddened by his death, she brought out a new book and television series combination in each of the next two years. Mastering the Art of French Cooking, published by three friends, was a bestseller. After the success, Child began to write in magazines and was a regular writer in Boston newspaper. Her last book was her autobiography, My Life in France. It pictured her life with her husband, Paul Cushing Child, in post-war France. It was published in 2006 after her death by Alex Prudhomme, her husband's grandnephew. The child's passion for cooking was so great that her cooking inspired many. Her book Mastering the Art of French Cooking opened the eyes of Americans, and they could access French cuisine. Her voice was unique and she made cooking fun and enjoyable. The way of presenting the cooking of Julia Child attracted people who had yet to be interested in cooking. She was so humorous that anyone would love how she cooked. Her techniques were so good, and to those who are student chefs, her techniques will be very helpful and provide modern culinary innovations. She never indulged in cooking at her home as they had a cook. Her cooking started after she was married to Paul. When Child and Paul moved to Paris, French cuisine awakened her. She then enrolled in Le Cordon Bleu. There she learned classic French cooking and the most famous French dishes. She then started teaching French cooking from her home. She continued her culinary education throughout her life. Once an omelet making was demonstrated on Boston television and she received a huge response from the viewers. And she was invited back to conduct a series of cooking shows. Like her book, her entry into television had much appreciation. Soon, she was seen demonstrating her cooking on dozens of United States TV stations, and hence, French cuisine found its way to the homes of many viewers. She has written many books on cooking. She wanted every book as a teaching book instead of a collection of recipes. Juliet Child was able to fetch an Emmy for her outstanding show on TV within five years. Many shows like Julia Child and Company, Dinner at Julia's, In Julia's Kitchen with Master Chefs, Baking with Julia, and Julia's Dinners were her TV shows in the 80s and 90s. Julia Child also attained top civilian awards from her home country and her second home country. In 2000, she was awarded the Lengthy d'Honneur, France's highest honor by Jacques Pepin at Boston's Le Meridian Hotel. George W. Bush gave her the Presidential Medal of Freedom three years later. She always promoted food. Awareness encouraged new chefs in education opportunities and culinary arts. She helped and founded the American Institute of Wine and Food in California in a tie-up with Robert Mondavi and Richard Graff. This nonprofit organization now supports community events and scholarships to upcoming culinary students. Julia Child died in 2004 of kidney failure, just two days before her 92nd birthday at her home in Montecito, California. She was also a survivor of breast cancer. The LA Times says she was active until a month before her death. She would eat in restaurants many times a week. Her last meal was reportedly a cup of onion soup prepared by her longtime assistant, Stephanie Hirsch. She had built up a culinary empire and was responsible for a dozen long-running television programs. She has written nearly 20 cookbooks and her culinary status brought her the love and affection of her viewers. She changed her approach to modern needs and trends. Although a strong supporter of classic French cooking, she practiced cooking with less fat and red meat, focusing on meals that can be prepared quickly. Above all, she tries to increase the public's awareness and appreciation of wholesome, well-prepared food. Her cooking career lasted for 40 years. Her legacy lives even now. Her kitchen was donated to the Smithsonian National Museum. Thousands of people visit this museum and peek into Child's Kitchen annually. The U.S. Portal Service also marked her achievement by including her in the 2014 Celebrity Chef Forever stamp series.